Hello again. So right now we're going to uh, just test the pH of the soil and just try to figure out where it's at. Uh, so in order for us to do that, we need a pH meter, we need some soil and some water. So here's some soil from my garden. Put it in there. Mix an equal part of water. Let that uh, settle in there for around 30 seconds or so. And you'll notice I have two pH meters down there. One of them is not working well and the other one has just been calibrated. So I just want to show you guys what uh, what you really need to deal with because you do have to calibrate your meters often or you'll get in inaccurate results and you really won't know what you're dealing with if that's the case. So here's the broken meter. Looking at around 7.5 which is definitely wrong and we'll show you how to calibrate these meters a little bit later. But 7.5 on that one. And now for the working meter. Six point seven, which is a nice range. Alright, so this is how you test the pH of your soil, and now we're gonna go inside and just show you how to test uh, you meter and calibrate it. All right, guys, we'll be right back. Thanks. Hey, guys, welcome back. Just want to show you guys how I check and calibrate uh, my pH meter. The one I use is the, the Apera, the AL209. Uh, and I needed to replace mine recently because it, uh, it just wouldn't calibrate anymore. So I've got a bad meter and a good meter here, and I'll show you. Uh, I'll show you what's going on. So we use the bad meter first. Units powered on. I'm just testing some tap water here, and you can see seven dot six here. That's the bad meter. Here's the calibrated, the new meter that was just recently calibrated. And you can see it's 7.2 here. So you can see that there's a discrepancy there. So because these numbers are real arbitrary, you know, there's, there's real no reference point, uh, you should really check your meter at least once a week or you know preferably before every time you use it and the way you do that is with your calibration uh, fluids here one is uh, a steady pH 4.0 uh, so it's always going to be uh, uh, give you a rating of 4.0 if your meter is accurate uh, and a solution on the higher end here the pH scale is pH 7 uh, which will give you a consistent reading of a consistent reference of, of 7.0 and these bigger bottles are refill bottles uh, of the calibration fluid. Uh, you can use the fluid until they get dirty or they just start seeming to, to give you inaccurate results. But for now, uh, I know the fluid's good, so we're just going to uh, use it as a, as a gauge right now. So I'm gonna just stick the bad meter into the 7O fluid, and if it's calibrated correctly, it should read 7.0. And you can see there, it's reading 8.4. So that's all over the place. If you're using that uh, as, a, as a guide to, to mix your nutrient solution to test your soil, you'd be, you'd be way off. So now we've got the good meter. And you can see it's reading 7.0. Okay, so we know that's accurate. So we'll cap this one up, and we'll just test 
the four hour solution. We'll take the bad meter first. Rinse it off with some water. Dry it off. Again, this is the bad meter and a four dot hose solution. Should be reading four dot oh and it's reading five dot four. Again, if you're taking readings with this meter, you'd be absolutely way off. So let me just clean off the good meter. And we're gonna put this guy into the four oh solution. See, you got 4 0 and a 4 0 solution. So, let me just show you guys in the bad meter. We'll run through the calibration real quick on this uh, and just try to show you how we could figure out that it was bad. So, I'm going to start off with this particular model. You start off with the 7 0 solution. You're going to hold the calibration button down for a few seconds, which is the bottom button here. See, it says Cal. You see the number 7 blinking on the screen. It's looking for the 7.0 solution. Uh, and if the probe is accurate, when you stick it in, good working 7.0 solution, it should go down to 7.0. And this thing's hopping all over the place. You can see it's at 8.3. And there's no way if I test if I press the calibration button to accept that value, it gives you it's so far off it's just going to give you an error. Uh, so I can't get past that first uh, calibration part, so I can't skip on to the next step, which would be using the 4.0 solution. Uh, called up support for this particular model, the probe, which is a glass piece at the bottom of the unit. I don't know if you can see that. This little glass bulb here is what actually me measures the pH. So when you call up for service, they, they just ask you to test, uh, you know, to check the, the bulb to make sure it's not cracked, to make sure it's, it's clean. Um, uh, clean it off with soapy water. Uh, do what you can do to clean it off. And there's not much maintenance, else mean much uh, more maintenance you can do on these units. They're not really designed to last forever. Um, this one lasted about a year. The warranty on the bulb is six months, so when I called up for service, uh, it's physically working, um, which I guess the, the physical, uh, you know, turning on and turning off, I think that warranty lasts a little bit longer, but the actual warranty that covers a glass bulb is a lot shorter. So, and it's not just this unit, all pH pens, are, are pretty much uh, the, the pH the glass probe is going to be need to be replaced at a certain point on some particular models you can replace the glass bulb and others you can't on this particular a pair of model you cannot replace the glass bulb so the whole unit needed to be replaced um, but it is a really important part of uh, checking your nutrient solution uh, and testing the pH of your soil and without a pH meter you're re really just operating in the dark so it, it is, I guess, the, probably the most important, you know, measurement tool that you can actually have and that you actually need to work with. So I recommend that you, you calibrate often uh, and just get prepared to buy one uh, around once a year. And that's it, guys. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.